It is day 29 on the Camino Frances, breaking it down with the help of Google Earth Pro. This is supplemental material to the vlog series that I shot in 2017. 22 kilometer day to uh, Puerto Marin, and we're about to cross the 100 kilometer markers to Santiago. So make sure that from now on you get at least two stamps on your pilgrim's passport. But before we go into today's stage, let's go over the Camino de Santiago as a whole, because we're almost there, we're almost at the end of the trip. The Camino de Santiago, the Camino Frances, stretches about 700 or 800 kilometers across uh, northern Spain from St. John Pied de Port all the way to Santiago de Compostela. You can go an extra 100 kilometers to uh, the end of the world, Fisterra or Muxia. As you make your way westbound across uh, northern Spain, you're going to go across uh, numerous uh, provinces and autonomous regions, and we start with Navarra, followed by La Rioja, and then we enter Castilla y León. Within Castilla y León, we go through Burgos, followed by Palencia, and then León. After Castilla y León, we have Galicia, where we are right now, and Galicia is divided into Lugo and A Coruña. Let's go over today's stage with the help of uh, the elevation profile. And today we have a small climb. Then we're going to hang around up here at the top before a seven kilometer descent to uh, Puerto Marin. Plenty of places to stop today to uh, have a snack or lunch and resupply. We're going to be doing a lot of uh, village hopping, making our way past small patches of chestnuts and uh, oakwood treats and cattle ranches. The day started at 6.45 in the morning when I woke up at Dia Berge and I decided to go for a walk to uh, the same place where I had dinner last night to have breakfast. It was 7.10 in the morning and I had my all too familiar breakfast, the Café con Leche and a Napolitano. Head back to Dia Berge and then I made my way out of uh, the town of uh, Sarria with uh, my two pilgrim friends. I was using the walking stick that I had found the day before. I did not find the owner. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to use it almost all the way to uh, Fisterra. You have a small climb just as you make your way out of the town and you walk past the Albergue Monasterio de la Magdalena. This is the municipal albergue. I did not stay here because it's kind of like a little bit away from the city center. So the people that did stay there had to walk back and forward. So I just rather stay as close to where the action uh, takes uh, place. Then you walk down past the cemetery, 7.30 in the morning, make your way over this uh, small uh, Roman bridge at 7.36 in the morning, and then walk right next to the train tracks for just a little bit. I wanted to get some shots of me walking over it, just as I did uh, in the stage where I made it to Astorga, if you remember that video. And then, just as you go under the main road over here, you have quite the climb such a steep climb so early in the morning so if you're kind of like a still asleep this one is gonna uh, wake you up and then you're in the plains up here you're walking through small villages the next village Ville, with a couple of albergues here 807 in the morning you're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, horreos in this area so keep your camera handy there's uh there's a lot of things to see along the way you got a few water fountains you're walking on backcountry roads for uh, some stretches in today's stage, but it is not bad at all. This is a very picturesque uh, stage today. And all the small villages, some of them are kind of like abandoned. Other ones, you can see that the farmers are just out in the field. But you also have a few parroquia like this one here, Parroquia de Barbadelo. And you're also going to be walking with all the pilgrims that decided to start in Sarria, which is the majority of the people that do the Camino Frances. As I mentioned before, make sure that you get at least two stamps on every single stage from now on, because when you get to Santiago de Compostela, they want to make sure that you did not skip any sections. 8.17 in the morning as I made my way through the backcountry road to the next village, and that is Rente. Small ones, as you can see here, 8.22, 8.26 four minutes walking through them and then you're back out once again under the canopy of the small patches of uh, woods. In the town of uh, Serra is when we made it to the 25% of today's uh, stage, the top of the climb. We did all the climb in today's stage and now we're going to be staying up here for the majority of the day before uh, the, the descent to uh, Puerto Marin. And I mentioned a climb but it's really not that bad. You're climbing only a few hundred meters. Down here you have a water fountain with a Galician logo for the Camino that kind of looks like one of those color palettes for uh, painters. And you're following the, the backcountry roads to the next village. 
Here you have an albergue, albergue Molino de Marsan. You also have a path right next oh. to a water stream, which was very eye-catching. It was 8.51 in the morning. You get to cross over the main road where there's a cross here and a sign to uh, the next town. And we encounter a group of uh, gypsies and uh, Fernando actually called the cops on them. I didn't know why, but he, they were uh, just trying to get donations. And he told me that it was uh, a scam that was going over Spain and they were targeting uh, pilgrims. So make sure to be on the lookout for those. I didn't notice it, so they would have taken me for a fool here. But in this town, I got to get a shot of the cattle, of a cow. Got to fly the drone from here. I wanted to get shots of uh, the villages and the plains and the surrounding uh, area. In the next village, a couple of Orreos, 9.34 in the morning, making our way, getting closer, walking with all the pilgrims in groups at some points and uh, at other points we were just leaving behind and catch up to the ones up ahead. Abrea is the next town. We're already at the halfway point of the day. Nothing on this town, so we continue on. And in the next one, Morgade, we stop here at a bar to get a quick uh, snack and a stamp. And there was a large uh, group of pilgrims gathering here outside. It was 10 o'clock in the morning. I got to see a small chihuahua that I will see a few times along the way for, uh, today. Just as you leave the town, there's a small chapel. And on we go to the next uh, village. Ferreiros, nothing to see on this one. Followed by a couple of alberges. And then we get to Mirayos. Here there's an alberge with a bar, a church, Iglesia Santa Maria de Ferreiros. And they have a very unique uh, tomb here. And just before you detour from the road, you come across the 100 kilometer stone marker. And they actually have two. This one, a lot of people, I saw them there taking selfies. And then not far from there is where the official one is. So I think people are just playing a prank on pilgrims. It was 1049. We all took uh, our pictures here, our selfies, uh, next to the 100 kilometer stone marker before you enter the, the village of Apena. We continue on walking, and this is where we get to the 7 kilometer descent to Puerto Marin. You're making your way down, still more villages along the way that you're going to come across. We're already at the 75% of the way for today. We're starting to see all the Camino merchandise uh, targeting uh, pilgrims. And I will take this opportunity to put a plug here where you can actually buy some of my Camino merch if you visit uh, my store. I'll leave the link down in the description. It's just another way for you to help me fun future pilgrimage and expedition. Remember, the next one might be the Appalachian Trail, follow the Chicago pilgrimage in Japan. Just looking forward to all the walking I'm going to be doing uh, this year. So we make our last push to uh, Puerto Marin, get to walk past a few uh, cattle ranches. I also got to see a few uh, Celtic symbols on rocks. I did not know about them at the time. I kept asking uh, my pilgrim friends what it was. And then here in the next village, Aparrocha, is where I, we decided to make a quick stop. Got to fly the drone just to get shots of the cattle in the area. And the funny thing is that they would just stare at it and just, you know, not even mind it at all. The guy with the dog caught up with us and we walked with him all the way to uh, the town of Puerto Marin. From here, you get your first views. You see the town in the hills. Before you get to cross over the Fisher Bridge, uh, the 15 column bridge over the Velazar Reservoir. Now, funny story is that the village Puerto Marin used to be down here in the valley before they built the dam. And in the 1950s, they relocated it stone by stone all the way up to the present uh, location. If you go to Google and do a quick search, you can see the old Roman bridge down here and the new one. So just before you make it into town, by this runabout, you get to go over the stairs and under the city gate as you make your way up to the village of Puerto Marin. Now here you have plenty of accommodations, private, municipal, albergue. Where I decided to stay is on the other side of the town. You have a beautiful church here, very peculiar. And the main street is just full of bars, restaurants. I mean, anything you want or need, you're going to find it in this town. Made it to the municipal albergue at 1.10 in the afternoon, got my stamp, but before taking my shower and doing uh, the laundry, 
we all went to get something to eat really quickly for lunch because as you guys already know the Spaniards they had their siestas and then they don't open again until like 7 or 8 o'clock at night so we got a couple of uh, rounds of beer some chicken and fries and then went back to the burger where I took my much deserved uh, shower and then the three of us decided to pull in and wash our clothes in the washer and the dryer. I get to see a pilgrim here that was washing all his clothes, including his and tent. I was talking to him and he told me that he was just doing the entire Camino camping, sometimes uh, stealth camping as I did on the Via Francigena and sometimes on the campgrounds that he will find along the way. After that, I went for a nap before going back and exploring uh, the town. You have Iglesia de San Juan from the 12th century, built by the Knights Templars with its four defense towers. It is part of a chain of defensive uh, castles to protect uh, medieval pilgrims on their way to Santiago. We went in, got a stamp in there, got to explore it for a little bit. And then later on in the afternoon, I went to have a dinner in the main plaza. I had red wine, salmon, and fries. Decided to get some shots with the drone from this corner at 9 o'clock in the evening. Got shots of Iglesia de San Pedro in this corner, the bridge, the town. It was 9 o'clock and the sun was still out. Just to show you how late the sunsets are here in uh, Spain when you're doing the Camino in the spring. Most of the times I would not even get to see the sunset. I would just go to sleep before it even happened. But I did get to see all the sunrises. So that was the end of day 29 on the Camino Frances. Tomorrow we have a 40 kilometer day. Why on earth did I decide to do so many kilometers? I mean, by now my legs were used to it, but I was walking with Fernando and Ramon and they had a flight to catch back home. Fernando is from Barcelona and Ramon is from the Canary Islands. So I threw away my guidebook and I was just walking with them. So I guess I'll see you guys on the next video.